Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this rectangle, the area of the top portion must be equal to 47 square centimeters. We don't have given area for the gray region, but the bottom rectangle must be equal to 61 square centimeters. Now, from the bottom point up to this point, this length must be equal to 9 centimeters. And from the top down to this point must be 8 centimeters. Now, the question is what is the length of this rectangle? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. All right. So given this rectangle, this figure, our goal is to solve for the missing length of this rectangle. All right. So now I will show you two methods to answer this kind of question. The first one is we can use algebra or we can insert some variables to answer this kind of question. And the second one, our favorite, which is the shortcut. So given this condition, whatever it is, is it rectangle, square, etc., etc., we can use the shortcut. All right. So now let's first use the algebra, or we can now insert some variables in this figure and solve for what is unknown. All right. Now since we want the length of this rectangle, why not? Let's call this as x. And then this length right over here let's call this as a this length right over here is b and this length must be equal to c all right now from this we can now create some equations now let's first use the given area of 47 square centimeters now to get 47 square centimeters we can multiply x and c so we can say that c times x must be equal to 47 all right now how about this area 61 square centimeters so to get 61 square centimeters we can multiply this x and this variable a so we have ax equals 61 now let's set aside these two results and then let's use another one let's make another equation so 9 this 9 multiplied by x this will give us Two regions we have ax and bx so we can say that 9x must be equal to these two region we have ax plus bx now notice that we have a value for ax ax is given a while ago which is equal to 61 so we can replace this ax with 61 now let's use another given how about this 8 multiply by x? 8 times x, this will give us two regions again. We have bx and we have cx. So we have 8x equals cx plus bx. Now we have a value for cx, this equivalent to 47. So we can replace this with 47 like this. And now, we can now focus on these two results. Take note that we want to find the value of x. So, why not? Let's subtract these two equations. Now, if we do that, we eliminate this bx and bx. So, bx minus bx, this is just equal to 0. Now, 9x minus 8x, this will give us x. And on the right-hand side, we have 61 minus 47 and take note that x is what we want to find now 61 minus 47 this will give us 14 and that is the length the missing length of this rectangle and that is the answer that is through the use of algebra now how about using the shortcut do we get the same thing so let's see now using the shortcut given this figure the length of this rectangle must be equal by the way this a is the area and this b is also the area 
small a and small b are the side length. All right. Now, the length of the side of this rectangle, represented as x, must be equal to a minus b all over a minus b, or capital A minus capital B, all over small a minus small b. Now, using the given in our given diagram, this a represents 61, this b represents 47, this small a represents 9, and this small b represents 8. So we can replace all of this given equation. So x equals 61 minus 47 all over 9 minus 8. Now let's simplify. 61 minus 47, this will give us 14. And 9 minus 8, this will give us 1. And 14 over 1 simply equal to 14. And that is our answer a while ago. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this figure, then the missing length of this rectangle must be equal to 14 centimeters. And as always, we are done.